the parents are represented by a lawyer. And from the time I talked to Boris to the time I met with them, but they were both right next to each other in the White House. I was in the Oval Office with the parents and the young lady was in a room right next to the Oval Office. I'm going to come in a room right next to the Oval Office. But the parents decided in their wisdom and it's certainly their choice not to see her. Yes. I can understand that, too. Yes. No, 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 no. And, I can understand And, of course, that. we have to talk about, and I'm sure it's the last <laughs> that you want to talk about, but the Ukraine and and this vote that has, this preliminary vote that has passed in the House this afternoon. Uh, I, I mean, they say, the other side, that you uh, used your position to ask the I'm so sick of this government to look into biden the biden family background and in doing that you'd asked effectively for foreign interference in a national election yeah how do you respond to that yeah it's totally false we have a transcript there was an exact transcript of the my time has come script of the meeting and anybody that reads the transcripts understands it was a perfect phone call uh, with the ukrainian president who's a very fine man a very nice person and we had a great call and it was a very appropriate call. Many people were on the call. I knew many people were on the call. Ah, you're teasing me. People were on the call. Not to mention, I'm sure they had many people on the call. But there were many people on the call, and it was a very, very appropriate call. And in fact, when it came up, uh, you know, sometime after the call was made, uh, when it came up, I said, We don't care. How? Okay, that's, there's nothing there. You know, having a good memory. Uh, and then it, you could see the Democrats are desperate. They're desperate. Uh, they have nothing. They've got nothing going. We call them, we really call them the do nothing Democrats. Who are you? And we're, it's really sticking because they're doing nothing. And it's the only way they're going to try and win the election this way because they can't win it the fair way. No, the uh, transcript of the, of the call that I had with the Ukrainian president is a perfect. And a and totally appropriate document, and they're using that to try and impeach the president of the United States, the United States, who won one of the greatest elections in history. You know that you've told me that yourself. Yes. And a very important election because there's nobody that's done what I've done in the first two and a half years: cutting taxes, cutting regulations. Uh, we rebuilt our military to a level that it's never been. Do you see me fucking laughing? My Level that it's never been. It's never been at a level like this. All beautiful, new, the best fighters in the world, the best uh, fighter jets and rockets and missiles, and hopefully we never have to use it. But we have a military the likes of which we never had before. The strongest in the world. Uh, done so much. <laughs> and the Democrats are are doing terribly. And the do nothing Democrats are. The only thing they can do is this. In fact, they just had a vote on a procedure. I, I guess it's procedural votes. They gave us absolutely no rights because they have the majority only in the House. And uh, I didn't have one. I don't like where this is going. We vote, which is yes. a very unusual thing. But you've been through Not one negative Republican vote. You've been through Mueller. They're trying what to put that? you. They, they, you say you've been through Mueller, which went on and on and on. They're trying to go through impeachment. That lasted for two years. I know. But it actually. Ah, shit. The whole thing started long before I won the election. It started with the insurance policy where you had two lovers, the FBI agents that were after Trump. And this was long before the election took place. And they said that Hillary Clinton's going to win. Okay. She doesn't win. We'll have an insurance policy. And all of this stuff is the insurance policy. But we're winning. We have a great Republican Party. I'm the highest rated person in the history of the Republican Party came out the other day, 95 percent. I have a 95 percent. Nice. Republican Party. And with the Senate, I'm um, equally strong. But the House just had a vote. I don't know what the final was, 195 Republicans or something like that. I it didn't lose two, any. Yeah, yeah, it was two, three, uh, two, three, two versus one, nine, six. And in fact, even two Democrats. Wait a minute. Or side of it. Yes, that's right, which is, uh, you know, really something. And I think what it means and what a lot of people are saying, because it's a hoax and, uh, you know, high crimes and misdemeanors. Well, what's a high crime and misdemeanor when you have a very appropriate conversation? Now, fortunately, we have the transcript. It's only game. 
Why do you have to be? Because, you know, they're bringing never Trumpers out, people. Now, you know, and you know this stuff better. Uh, I knew many people were on the call. I knew it was probably being transcribed or stenographers, you know, doing that. Uh, I knew all these things. I know men, when I speak to a foreign leader, uh, people are on. It's the biggest piece of dog shit. Stop. Call. And they do that and they transcribe the call. So what happened is, um, if you know that, if I know, Boris, now I'm a straight shooter anyway, so it doesn't have to be. But when you have 25 people or 10 people or five people or maybe more than 25, when you have, uh, when you know the line is, you know the line is crowded with people listening, uh, intelligence agencies, military people, they're all listening. Would I say something inappropriate? I'm supposed to be a, they even say a very smart person, right? I don't think I'd be, uh, I don't think I'd be doing that. Also, when I, so would I use Ukraine to beat Sleepy Joe Biden? Sleepy Joe, <laughs> I call him 1% Joe too. 1%, the guy never came out of these things with 1% and he's heading down rapidly now. I mean, I don't view him as a very... I think it's unlikely that he would have gotten it, but now it seems to be less and who, less likely that so he would who, have gotten who it. So who is the fight? Who is the fight going to be against it for November 2020? Who is well, going to come and take you on? It would look like Elizabeth Warren is picking up steam. She's picking up a little steam. I thought she was gonzo. She was... And sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. Because she lied about her Indian heritage. But she seems to be the one picking up steam. So it could be her. It could be Bernie Sanders, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. It, Bernie looks like he's shot. But uh, it could be one of them. But in any I know it's going to say Trump is going to win. That's Nigel, because you said that I did. when it was less fashionable. Oh. So I can't imagine you're going to be changing I it. Too. In the meantime, I, we've had a great no. economy and everything. Else. No, I did. You're absolutely right. And I, you know, absolutely. And I'm, and I'm pleased I did. What did I do? Just go to the office. What did I do? Tell me something. I came to see yeah. you. I came to see you just three days after the election result, right. and it was a, right. and it was an astonishing victory. And I just wonder, you know, here we are, nearly three years in office have gone by, and you've got all this stuff right. going. <laughs> on, you've got elements of the U.S. media who are kind of on your case on a regular basis. Are oh, the big question I'm going to end with? Are you enjoying it? Uh, yes because I'm doing more than anyone ever thought possible, even me. Uh, you know, they say, you feel me? Promises made, promises kept. Uh, I'm doing more than I even promised I was going to do. I'm getting things done at a level that nobody ever thought possible. I'm being held up by the Democrats. Uh, frankly, they're trying to put roadblocks. Part of this is exactly what's happening here. Got investigation going on. And that's the real, that's the real deal. That's investigate the investigators. And uh, that's going to come out. The IG report is coming out very soon against these people. And I think it's going to be, uh, we're going to learn a lot. But, but. So that was a fing lie. I love doing it. Uh, I had a great life before, including going to Turnbury and going to Aberdeen and, yes, playing and going golf to Dunbeg, right, be, in be, Ireland, and going being to free, a lot of different places and there. Being free and, and being living free your own and, life. And yeah. that, I mean, that's all gone, that's isn't right. it? I'll never. I look <laughs> Again. No, you will well, never have that again. And what comes I had the I, the day before I announced Nigel? It was literally the, I was the most successful. I had the best, probably the best part of my life ever. And then I announced, and look, it's a much different life. Wow, incredible! What? It's tougher, but it's something you know. It's you're the president of the United States. I have great relationships with. Many of the leaders, including Boris, he's a fantastic man, and I think he's the exact right guy for the times. And I know that you and him will end up doing something that could be terrific. If you and he get together, it's, you know, unstoppable force. And Corbyn would be so bad for your country. He'd be so bad. He'd take you in such a bad way. He'd take you into such... Oh, Lord. Again. I fucking... ...go to such bad places. But... Uh, your country has tremendous potential. It's a great country. Don't forget, my mother was born in Stornoway, right. right? Yeah. So that's big. That's that's called the real deal, Scotland. Okay, that's that's not that's not on the fringe. Wait a minute. Fringes, right? That's called. She was from Scotland, and she was proud of it. She'd go back every year. 
She loved it. Uh, but uh, so we have some great things, and I, I love what I'm doing. And uh, tell me, what will happen first? <laughs> Brexit or Donald Trump's re-election? That's a tough one. Well, I think Brexit will happen first. Yeah, because we we don't have till you know we're November third of next year. So that's that's in a year. Hard to believe. It's a one year. That's all. Wow! You, you, for the first couple of days, you say it'll never happen, but all of a sudden time goes by. No, I think Brexit will happen first. Uh, I hope so, because otherwise Brexit, <laughs> Brexit's going to be, you know, you should be able to knock that off. I think they're going to get that done. People are tired of hearing about it. We're even tired of hearing about it over here. <laughs> I think you'll get that done. Thank you very much. Indeed. You have the right. <laughs> You have the right man doing it, and you have the right combination of people that want to see something good happen, and that includes you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thanks so much for doing that for me. Thank you, and I'll see you very... Stop it. Get some help. Thank you, and I'll see you very, very soon, and good luck with it all. Hacker Man. He's the most powerful hacker of all time.